Hi, we are here today at EFI Express here in Lee, New Hampshire. We just finished up with uh, Hometown Autos Hypermax. This is a 6 liter with 5.3 heads to up the compression and then we put in our Stage 2 camshaft. And uh, just go back over some. Uh, the first gauge I showed you was the oil pressure gauge. The second gauge I showed you was a fuel pressure gauge. You need 58 pounds of fuel pressure, steady, with no vacuum or boost reference to make this tune happy. Um, we'll pull around here and we'll look at the graph. Nice smooth graph, nice straight air fuel line. Torque's way up there. And down here is the magic number. Ooh, hey, look at that, we picked up another 13 horse on that last pull. 393 horsepower. And then you want to pull up the torque? Real yep, quick? sure. It looks like it's right kissing on 400 foot pounds. Yeah, 398 at the hubs. And remember that there's a 15% uh, drivetrain loss to this Chevy 8 bolt rear end. So at the crank, I think Dale had those numbers worked out. Uh, it's high. Yeah, I'll have to go. That's a bigger number than what I figured. So. Yeah, right. Somewhere around about uh, 400 and something. 480, I think. All right, well, give me a minute. Let's see. Let's see. Hold while our engineers calculate. And there it is. 393 through the hubs of our dyno car equals 462 at the crankshaft. That's a pretty stout little motor, so that's pretty much pretty close. The torque's a little higher than that. So, uh, anything else you'd like to add, Mark? No, it looks like a real nice graph. I think you're going to enjoy this motor quite a bit. Again, Chris, Chris at Hometown Auto. I hope you enjoy this motor. Uh, we enjoyed dyno it, and if any you or anybody else wants another motor or a motor like this or any LS engine, pretty much you want, want to have us custom build, give us a call at Just Chevy Trucks, 207-457-5500, uh, or through our lsxfu.com website. Thank you.